Hello friends, here in this video I am going to show you how to flash your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone with Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 firmware that is official firmware, this firmware has been released for Spain if you are from any other country you can safely flash the, your phone with this firmware without any problem so first of all let me just show you what's currently running on my phone actually the firmware that is on my phone at present is actually leaked the jelly bean firmware that was the test firmware that was released about one or two months ago you can see it is uh, xxlsz and you can see here it is android 4.1.2 but right now we are going to flash this mobile with jelly bean android 4.1.2 official firmware not the leaked version not the test version but the official firmware that has been released for spain but can we safely use all you need to note is that your model name should be GTI9100 that's it so to do this first of all you need to download two packages two package files from our website which is given in the description section below you can see I have already downloaded these two packages on my computer here this is the firmware package and this is Odin that is a program used for flashing your Samsung smartphone with firmware okay so after downloading these two packages these two uh, these two are just compressed zip files so you need to extract these two packages just use any program like 7 z zip or the default that is present in windows and just extract it So as you can see here I have extracted this into this folder now I am going to extract Odin program and Odin is also extracted into a separate folder so now now we need to move to the phone part even if your phone is running ice cream sandwich or gingerbread version of Android you can safely flash this firmware on your phone so first of all we need to do is turn off the mobile I've already backed up my device so you also go ahead back up your device because this firmware may cause factory reject and this may lead to wiping of all your personal data and files and other settings also so make sure you back up your device before going ahead with this video tutorial so as you can see this phone is already switched off now I need to do it just hold on three buttons together here to take it into the download mode here you can see I have this volume down key and then this home button and then power button I have to press all these three buttons together now you can see the phone is now in download mode now it's prompting me to press volume up key to continue so I'm here to press volume up key now it's in download mode you can see that now you need to do is connect this phone connect your phone your S2 phone smartphone with USB data cable to your computer and before connecting just launch Odin program and make sure on your computer Yeah, make sure on your computer Samsung Kai is not running when you are going to launch this Odin program right here. Now as you can see I have launched this Odin program. Now I am going to connect my phone with my computer via USB data cable. Now as soon as I connected my phone with USB data cable you can see there a box has turned colored here you can see and here it is also indicating the COM port number at which our phone is connected right now so it should happen exactly the same way in your case you can see here we have a notification that the phone is added just the added message here so this means that Odin has successfully detected our phone here now now let's just hit on this PDA button here and browse to the location where we have downloaded the firmware package 
and in my case I have downloaded the firmware package on the desktop here you can see here let's see the name of the firmware that I am currently flashing in this on this phone is i9100 xws so I have to select this firmware right here in the PDS section you can see here I've just selected the PDS section you can see all those options nothing else you have to do here and after selecting this you need to hit on start here now, as soon as you hit on start you can see this log window is, has just started filling up with several messages you can see and now the downloading process has actually started you can even see on my phone it says downloading do not turn off the target and you can see a blue progress bar here which will gradually go ahead go towards the right as you can see indicating that the firmware is being downloaded onto the phone is the firmware is being flashed onto the phone so we need to wait for few minutes here so make sure your phone is successfully charged before going ahead with flashing your phone with this particular firmware it doesn't matter whether your phone is rooted or not it doesn't matter whether you are on gingerbread firmware or ice cream sandwich firmware and it doesn't matter whether you are from India or from any other part of the world you can safely flash this firmware because English language is available on almost every firmware and if after flashing this firmware if for certain users if uh, data that is packet data connection doesn't work just go to mobile networks and there under access point names just make sure that you have set up correct access point name correct internet profile so now again you can see it has already progressed to half that means it has been flashed to half And if you are concerned whether this firmware will wipe your data or not then let me advise you to back up your data first because in some cases it will not wipe in some cases it may wipe your data so have patience be prepared to wait for few minutes because flashing really takes time Now as you can see right now in the OC Odin it says pass that means that the firmware has been successfully flashed on this phone and now you can see the phone is actually booting here. So I have still not unplugged the cable as you can see. I'll just wait for the phone to successfully start then I'll just unplug the cable. Now you can see there are message android is upgrading up to merging apps that means that the phone has not been rigid to the factory default setting that means that it's a non wipe firmware it won't wipe your phone it won't wipe your files your settings or your app but to make certain to be on the safer side you should always back up content first before flashing anything on your phone now you can safely unplug the cable because it is not actually required at all so you can see right now we are on the lock screen kind of laggy no it's really laggy 
in comparison to the liquid version it doesn't feel as smooth but now it feels smooth i think since we have started this for the first time that's why it was slow even able to scroll these widgets unfortunately dictionary has stopped so here you can see we are getting quite a lot of errors certain apps are not responding very well Doesn't feel buttery smooth. Here in the about section, you can see now the baseband version is changed. It's XXLS8. Here you can see the build number XWLS8. Let me just quickly restart this phone to see if the lag is still present after restart again it's showing me android is upgrading ok it's, it was quick Actually, I'm sort of battery here. Every time I start, I get this error. It's error with this particular application, Power Amp. That's the music player. So now you can see the home screens are not lagging, as was the case with the first boot. Now it looks very smooth. You can see here. This also feels smooth. Let's turn to widgets. This somehow felt little lag. Now this is really taking a lot of time. Actually two apps are right now causing me problems. Dictionary app and power amp app let me try to run other programs and see if they are working fine you can see browser is working fine this is most i think image So now things seem to be okay. I need to just reinstall two applications here the dictionary apps and power amp that is music player because those two apps are encountering error on this phone after the upgrade. Rest of the apps are just working fine. So what's new? Let's check out what's new. As you can see here. We have the lock screen we are on the lock screen we can actually set three shortcuts of our desired choice here under the display we have a smart stay that features allow you to 
read ebooks or do work on your phone or even just stare at your phone and the display will remain on as long as you stare on your phone you can even turn on display battery percentage right here just beside the signal network signal we have the blocking mode here if we turn this mode on it will disable incoming calls notification alarm and timer everything this is particularly useful if you are in some serious urgent meeting we have the home screen mode basic mode and easy mode basic mode is for the regular android users and easy mode is for those who are new to android operating system now apart from this under videos we have we also have pop up play feature we do not have multi window but we do have pop up play feature let me just show you pop up play feature just one you can see if i just uh, tap this particular button here it will just pop this video on the on the top of the other windows other videos and if i want to take the screenshot of this particular frame of this video i need to just hit on this here and it just takes a, a screenshot of the playing video and just hit on this and now you can see there is this small pop up window here you can actually resize this video window pop up you can see it plays on the top of everything just double tap it and then hit on close button so we have pop up smart stay shortcuts on lock screen here these toggle options are now scrollable you can easily scroll this that's it so this was the video and about battery life battery backup we will later find out after few days of usage so this was the video for xw ls8 firmware on samsung galaxy s2 how to flash it a quick review and hands on thank you for watching this video for more videos just subscribe to our channel and keep watching us thank you